All right, before the inaugural run, it's kind of comical how small the Mini is compared to the Q5s, which themselves were dwarfed by the QQSs. Yes. So we got the guy hooked up. Let's turn her on. Comes on the stylus. It's a stylus. Okay, Monoprice. So, Wish. You sure? Yeah. After networking, you can send files to the 3D printer wirelessly. We use the app to remotely control the printer. Do you need to configure Wi-Fi network connection now? I'm going to say no because I don't care. Welcome to Use Mini Delta 3D Printer. Please insert the TF card and load the filament into the extruder. Then click Next. The Next. The printer will automatically load the filament and print a test metal. Automatically model. load the filament? If you are already familiar with the use of 3D printers, you can skip this guide. <clears throat> okay, so I did hang a filament roll on yeah. a spool holder. It's almost as big as a printer. Uh, Alright. Okay. <clears throat> He's lowering the extruder. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do next, I guess. Okay. Insert filament and wait a while heating. <laughs> wait, wait a while heating. Oh, wait a while heating. So it's gonna heat to 210 degrees Celsius. Which is what <coughs> these guys need. Which is to. what these guys do. I was just seeing if the fan was actually running. Oh, is it? oh that's a tiny fan. But it is running. Yes, it is. <clears throat> the nozzle there. is sucked up in there. Really? Yeah, look. Oh, yeah, I see it. Like, I was a little concerned because I was like, oh my gosh, is this a proprietary nozzle? Well, shoot, that's going to suck. And then I looked and I'm like, oh, it's not proprietary. It's just up in there. <clears throat> so to, th to work on it, I think I'll be removing it. Right. All the way around and then pulling it down so that I can actually look at it whenever I have to work on it. Okay. It's almost ready. Yes, yes, yes. It shouldn't take very long to load it because it doesn't have to go very far. No, it does not. It's just going to go up through here and then down. Yep. And we're going to print the Fortune Cat. I guess. Which is uh, one of the pre-built um, Jeep Models. on there. Models, yeah. It's got uh, rafting and it's got brims, which I'm not a huge fan of, but... I don't care. It don't bother me. Oh, it is loading. It's pulling it. It's pulling it through. Hopefully we'll see some filament other than the iron red I've loaded in here drop out. Because that will mean that they test printed before they mailed this thing out. Right. Please clean the extruder filaments on the nozzle and platform. Click next to start printing. Is it still loading? Nope, it's not moving anymore. No, but it's got... Is there actually filament there? Yep. Oh. White. White, okay. So they did test it. Good. Next. TF card not found. Oh, did you insert it? Did I maybe insert it upside down or backwards? Usually they won't let you push it in if you did. <clears throat> Waiting. Oh, look at that. So, it's going to print that. Um, it estimates. I don't want to print that. Why is well, it printing it's going. that? I don't know. Well, it's, it's doing something. Oh, well, whatever. I'm just going to let it do its thing. Wait. It, it's oh, it's auto leveling. Auto -leveling. Oh. That's why the bed clicks. Oh. The bed okay. itself is the auto leveler. Uh, that's pretty cool. That's oh. actually really nice. That has me a little bit nervous, though, with putting the PEI sheet on it. Yeah, I would think it would be fine. It's not even touching the bed. No, it doesn't look like it's extruding. Uh, I don't know what it's doing. Oh, wait, that, is that the, no? 
Yeah, it's not even touching the bed. Uh, it's gotta be extruding. The filament roll is spinning. Must be extruding a really fine line then. You know, maybe it doesn't look like it's even loaded because I don't see any red in the uh, in the bowling No, tube it's there. right there. Oh wow! A uh, cook on the setting there. A little bit. Oh, pause. I'll go back. Back. There's a back button there. What? Two hundred, four hundred, six hundred percent. Yeah, but you can't click them. Oh my god, you can click them. <laughs> oh my god! Don't give her a heart attack, it was just born. <laughs> Jeez, what are you doing to it? Holy. Looks like it was gonna hit you. Oh, there's the feed in, PLA. Three nice. hour print. There's a little or two hour eight minute print. A little preview, okay. Now I hit print. It's yeah. nice that it gives you the stats on it. Like it'll use 17 grams of filament. Well, that's pretty cool that it tells you that. Ah. Oh, hey, look at that. It's doing. It's. Um, it's not even heated up it's yet. It's not though. heated up yet. I don't know. Oh, it's auto leveling. Oh, it's auto leveling. It does that before every. Well, I suppose if it's fast enough, why not? 15 to 16. Oh, it must 40. be. It must be like 220 or something. There it goes. It's not touching the print bed. It is laying down filament. Does it look like it's adhering? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Because this model does have a Z offset too. That's our Q5. Pay mm -hmm. no attention to that. It's laying down a raft right now. All right. Well, we will uh, see how this turns out. We'll be back in two hours and eight minutes. All right. Bye. Bye. So the uh, kitty is done. Uh, what kind of stats did you give there? It used 17 grams of filament. Two hours, 11 minutes, two seconds. Um, this cat is completely hollow, so I use less filament than, say, one with a 40% infill or so. This is the scraper included with the printer, which to me means I can use my handy dandy plastic scraper. So we will try that. And the cat does have a wrap and a um, rim and how easily does it scrape off? Their plastic scraper might actually be sharper. I just changed the blade. Oh is it? Yeah. Can you take them off my hand though? Yes. <laughs> off of his raft. Huh. So yeah, kitty is hollow. And it oh, actually there we has... go. Oh, you got it? Yeah. Okay, so So we... I think I actually... I don't know if this is the raft. No, that's the raft. Okay. Yep. So the kitty actually didn't have um, a base. So... It turned out pretty good. Uh, we are going to try printing the same model at 200%. Uh, this is um, manufacturer G code, so of course it's going to look a lot better it's than look perfect. pretty much anything that we can put together. I really wish that they would tell us what the uh, settings are that they used and what program they used. Because uh, the one that we did did not work. Although it might be possible that you, if you install their version of Cura, <laughs> which is extremely old, I think it was like 4.4, <laughs> it is possible if you install their version, it automatically comes with this profile that, used, that they used to print the kitty. Um, yeah, look, even the letters, they didn't, uh, 
Yeah, there's zero supports on this guy. There's zero supports. They are so sharp. This has got to be fine quality. Yeah. I'm looking at this. This has got to be fine quality. It, it looks really nice. We'll have to, like, zoom in on it and see if the model is... I have just told really it to nice. do it at 200%. This thing can go up to 600%. 600, wow. 600. So it is auto-leveling right now, I think. Actually, the, the printhead is just sitting there. What is it doing right now? Heating up. Oh, heating. Okay. That's a weird... Don't touch it. Yeah, this is locked. That's a weird mm. location for it to send. That's where the print starts, so. Okay, well, we'll uh, check it out and see see how the quality yeah. is compared to the one that yeah. printed out of Kind of excited. Um, I want to figure out how to get our G-codes to print on it. Because yes. we tried one of ours and it just kind of hovered there for two minutes and I was like, I'm done. It is possible if I installed the version of Cura, there's something in there. <laughs> There's a profile in there that, and then I can just upgrade Cura from there, or I can export their profile. Okay. So, we'll see. Yeah. Oh, here it goes. Okay, this is 200%.